Why are the Mavericks not switching here? It's Derek Jones Jr. and Luka Doncic. It's wing to wing. It's an easy switch. If you're coming up the trap and Seth Curry, who's not even seeing the ball, needs to rotate over and get in backside help on Jalen Williams' roll, you can't let that pass get made. This is the most pathetic trap or whatever I've ever seen. It's a bad box out by Luka Doncic. You got to use the lower half of your body and drive Chet Holmgren back. Look at Luka Doncic. This is your, you're the one getting moved here. So again, the Mavericks are trapping. Derek Lively's up. So then Omax Prosper has to get to one pass away. Luka Doncic has to stay home. You got to deny one pass away. These traps are pointless when, look at this. It's how easy could this be to pass out of? It's like, what are you even doing? You have to rotate to the ball and play on a string. This ball gets swung. Jaden Hardy's got to immediately rotate to the ball and get his feet set. Look at Jaden Hardy barely moving. Look at his feet. He's going towards the ball now on the kickout. Now it's Derek Jones Jr.'s turn right here. Okay, you got to rotate to the ball. Your feet set. I can stunt and recover. That's where the help's got to be. But so Jalen Williams is able to rip and go because Jaden Hardy's feet aren't set and Derek Jones Jr. is not moving. So now Derek Live, he's got to step up, step up in the paint and there's no rotating out of that. Pathetic. This is off of an inbounds. Why is Rashawn Holmes and Omax Prosper gambling off of a made basket? So now Shea Gildas Alexander is ahead of everyone right here. So if you're Omax Prosper, do not guard the ball. You're not going to be able to guard the ball. I got to get over there to Case and Wallace. Luka Doncic is going to take the ball. Luka Doncic is taking the ball. So why is Omax Prosper not getting over? So absolutely unbelievable. It's the same thing in transition here. Derek Lively's clearly taking Chet Holmgren. I guess he needs to communicate this because Omax Prosper needs to be going to Davis Bertans. Omax Prosper's not going to even be able to guard the ball. Chet Holmgren has inside position. So why is Omax Pro Why are you staying towards the ball? So two people are going... Seth Curry needs to stay connected to Davis Bertans. When Davis Bertans sets the screen, you can start to defend the screen, whether you're switching or hedging or whatever. But Davis Bertans hasn't even come close to doing anything. So now he's just slipping this and is wide open. On this switch, Derek Jones Jr. needs to be level to Davis Bertans. So he's ready to guard Jalen Williams immediately on this switch. And oh yes, Seth Curry, of course, needs to rotate to the ball and get in the gaps. Derek Jones Jr. is playing off, not ready to guard. Seth Curry's also nowhere to be found rotating to the ball. Easy too. Luka Doncic is coming to trap for whatever reason in transitions, but it doesn't matter. Derek Lively cannot be standing in the middle of nowhere. You're getting back to a random spot on the floor. I got to get back to a body. Look at Derek Lively here. You're getting back to the paint to guard what? You're Luka Doncic. Just slide your feet. You have it. Grant Williams is all the way at the free throw line. He's actually about to come up and trap. Derek Lively and Seth Curry are also in help. So just get up here and guard. With the backpedaling, you have help. But now you're just... You're Luka Doncic. You don't go above the three-point line away from the ball. Your back's to the baseline, and you're in that gap, especially because Grant Williams is giving Shea Gilders Alexander that angle. I can help and recover there, okay? But Luka Doncic is going out to guard at half court for no reason. So now you're not in that gap when Shea Gilders Alexander comes there. I mean, it's just... Grant Williams is staring at the ball. His back's not to the baseline. I should be seeing ball and man. Look at Grant Williams. You're staring at the ball for about an hour. Look at this. Derek Lively has the ball. Why are you not up the line guarding Lugans Dort? Like, are you even seeing Lugans? So now you're late getting out. So why? So let's just pump fake and go. The Mavericks are in a zone right here. Seth Curry does a great job there stunting at the ball, getting the dribble picked up. So now Shea Gildas Alexander is entering Grant Williams' area of the zone. Luka Doncic goes out to Isaiah Joe because that's his area of the zone. Derek Jones Jr. is taking Case and Wallace. That's his area of the zone. Why are two people going to the ball? That's so Lugans Dort beats Luka Doncic baseline. Dwight Powell steps up to help. Jaden Hardy's going to help the helper. Look at Derek Jones Jr. You're not even seeing the ball. I'm supposed to be seeing ball and man at all times. So I would know here that I've got to rotate to Davis Bertans, whether that's a kickout pass for three or whether he cuts. Derek Jones Jr. Ha has no idea what's happening here. So Davis Bertans cuts and is open.
Luka Doncic needs to stay connected to Chet Holmgren. When Chet Holmgren goes to set the screen, then you will start to defend the screen. Luka Doncic goes out to defend a screen. You're defending nothing right now. So now Chet Holmgren's going to slip it, be open. That draws everyone in transition here. You're up four with three and a half minutes left. Could Luka Doncic please just get back? Look at this. You sell out and gamble and get nothing. So now the Thunder have numbers for no reason and are scoring. If you're Seth Curry in transition, you can't be sprinting to the middle of nowhere. I've got to come to where the ball is and take Isaiah Joe. Look at Seth Curry here. You're just sprinting in a straight line to nowhere. I should be overtaking the ball so Luka Doncic can take Lugan Stort. But now Luka Doncic has to guard two people. So now Derek Live, he's going to have to scramble to go defend at the rim, and no one's going to be able to box out Chet Holmgren. Why are the Mavericks not switching this? It's wing to wing. Luka Doncic and Derek Jones Jr. Just switch. Seth Curry's right there and help. Instead, you run this dumb drop coverage. You have no backside help. The Thunder instantly have numbers. That couldn't have been easier. It's a tie game with 46 seconds left. I'm not sure why Derek Jones Jr. can't just get there in the gaps, be beneath the three-point line and be able to help, but instead he comes to trap. So Luka Doncic now has to rotate up onto Jalen Williams. You got to play on a string. You got to rotate to the ball. The shell drill. I got to get beneath the three-point line and get in that gap. I'm rotating to the ball. Luka Doncic is going to get beat here. He's late on the rotation. You can't stand above the three-point line and guard at half court. You don't rotate to the ball. So there's space where there shouldn't be. 